Hello, back again with another video today. It's currently 2 p.m. and I think I amped today. Oh, probably because I had too much coffee. Um, I really love coffee. Not that it matters, or that it's the point of this video, but, you know. I like coffee, and I also like the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck is very versatile. It's a console, but it's also a PC. Mainly a PC. And you can do whatever you want with this device compared to other consoles. And the one thing that you can do on it is, uh, virtual reality. And you already know what virtual reality is, I'm not gonna explain it to you. It's that big giant toaster that you put on your face and you- you look around at the little virtual world that, you know, Zuck wants to suck you in, you know? There's other things to do in VR besides you know, being in Zuck's a little universe, but there's a little other universes you can hop into, like VR chat and all that stuff, and you can do that with PC VR, and PC VR is what it is. It's VR on the PC, and if you have a PC in your hands, like the Steam Deck, you can do PC VR. It's completely possible, but you're probably questioning why would you even want to do this in the first place? With VR, you're rendering pixels per eye. That's huge amounts of more resources for your GPU. Well, the main reason why you'd want to do this is because you have nothing else. You don't have an actual PC because PCs are just too expensive. So that's simply the closest you're going to get is using your Steam Deck. See, you have to think of it from a perspective of this is going to be a person's first computer when they buy this thing. This is going to be their first gateway to PC gaming because it is a PC at the end of the day. But that's besides the point, um, I could tell you that performance is not very good. Really, really guys, don't expect anything crazy out of this. This is just a custom APU, it's not, it's not your RTX 3070 and your Ryzen 7 blah blah blah, no, no. You're not gonna get some serious VR out of this type of hardware. You're really more accustomed to desktop gaming on this, using desktop mode on VR games that already exist. A lot of people are testing VR on Windows, but I tested VR on SteamOS because SteamVR actually exists for Linux. It has for, like, many years. Not a lot of people realize this because Linux is new to them. Doing it over SteamOS is going to have a little bit more issues because SteamVR always had issues on Linux ever since, well, it came out. You'll have weird artifacting on your controller models in SteamVR and they won't even layer properly, if that makes sense. But at least the menus work, at least a lot of the things work except for desktop view, which I think is the important one. I like to use my desktop while I'm in VR, and I've always done that on Windows, but you just can't seem to do it on SteamOS or Linux. The only game I try through VR is, well, VR Chat, because first of all, other VR games that I try don't even launch, and second of all, I play VR Chat all the time, and that's all I think about when I uh, play VR is just social VR games. Because I think VR in other aspects is kind of fucking boring, to be honest with you. It's a really good social device, but it's not its not a good gaming device, in my opinion. Using the Steam Deck for Steam VR and having to run my resolution at 20% is kind of a mediocre or bad experience at best. This thing is going to get you very sick and queasy because the frame rate is so damn low. I mean, it's a freaking custom APU, don't expect anything crazy out of it, like I said. So, I really don't recommend this. It really performs just like a laptop and on a desktop gaming PC, unfortunately. So, would I recommend Steam VR on the Steam Deck? Probably not, because this is not a VR device. It wasn't designed for this in the first place, but it really does give you a glimpse of what Valve could do in the future, like make their own standalone headset that runs Steam VR. That is a full PC. That, that, that would be really cool, but I think that's really far off into the future, maybe even soon for all we know. If you have, what are your experiences in the comments? Or, if you haven't, what do you like about uh, Steam VR and the Steam Deck? Do you like the fact that it's even completely possible in the first place? I don't know, what do you think? Anyways, that just wraps up this little quick video. Um, you have a good rest of your day. And bye bye